Hello, I'm Ethan, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to do F2L. F2L stands for first two layers. It's a follow-on from beginner's method, and it's one of the four components of the CFOP method. So in this video, I'm going to teach you the six steps that you need to solve any F2L pair, which is called intuitive F2L. So let's get started. Normally, when solving the cube using beginner's method, after completing the white cross, you would first solve all of the white corner pieces, and then you would solve all of the middle layer edges. But F2L allows you to solve a corner and its corresponding edge as a pair of pieces, all in F2L pair. The general idea is that you find two pieces which you're going to solve, you do something called pairing them up, and then you insert your completed pair, which will look something like this. To insert an F2L pair going into the right, you do R, U prime, R prime. And to insert an F2L pair going into the left, you do the mirror which is L prime, U, L. To solve an F2L pair, you must first find a white corner, say this one, and its corresponding edge, which is this one. Then you do the following steps. Step one is to get both pieces into the top layer. In this example, the corner is already in the top layer, but the edge is not. So we can put it into the top layer by inserting these two pieces, as they're not important at this point. We insert these pieces with one of the two algorithms. In this case, they're going into the right, so we'll do R, U prime, R prime. And that's pushed this edge out of the slot. Step two is to make the color at the top of the corner match the color at the top of the edge. You can usually change the color at the top of a corner by putting it above an unsolved slot and doing one of the two algorithms. So in this case, we'll do L prime, U, L. But watch what happens to the edge when you do this. If the edge becomes inserted into the slot while you do these three moves, then do the same three moves one more time. Keep doing this until the corner has the same top colour as its corresponding edge. So here, green matches green. Step three is to check if the corner and the edge are touching. If they are touching, they may already be paired up. If this is the case, skip to step six. If they are touching but are not paired up like this, then cube rotate so that you can match the front colour of the edge with the front centre. Do U2, and then one of the algorithms from before. So here, the corner is on the right-hand side, so we'll do the right-handed algorithm, which is R, U prime, R prime. Step four is probably the easiest step. Move the corner piece so that it's above its correct location, so here it needs to go into this slot, and then we'll do one U move so that we can still see the white sticker. So in this case, doing U prime would hide the white sticker, so we have to do U instead. Then rotate so this corner is in the back. For step five, we need to move this edge so that at the back next to the corner, which will complete our F2L pair. So we'll hide the corner by moving it away, put the edge at the back, and then bring the corner back. Finally, for step six, we insert the F2L pair using one of the algorithms from the beginning of the video. So here, it needs to go into the left, so we'll do L prime, U, L. So if you followed these steps correctly, you shouldn't be able to use them to solve any F2L pair. However, doing F2L will actually make you slower at first, but don't be demotivated. Stop timing yourself for a few weeks and you'll gradually get better at it. I've also outlined each of the six steps in the video description, so you can refer to it if you forget what to do. If you want to watch some examples, the first link in the description will take you to an extra video where I'll show you some example pairs. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe by clicking the button down here. Thanks for watching.